Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. So clearly I bought more Littlest Pet Shops and obviously we're going to be doing an unboxing and review today. I'm still so absolutely pumped about these and I was so excited to find these. These are like the pet pairs. Obviously you get two pets in each little box. And I was able to find them at a Toys R Us inside Macy's and I was super surprised by it because I never find anything even remotely good at the Macy's near me. Like it's just a complete dud, but we went, me and my husband, we were like, I don't even know what we were looking for. We were shopping for something else. And there was a Macy's like in the same little area. And so we went over there and checked. And obviously we found some little pet pairs and I'm just so excited about these. It's really funny. Cause like, I obviously super appreciate the fact that these are a decent price point. I want to say the pet pairs were seven or eight US dollars, which like you get two pets and a couple of accessories in each pack. And I feel like that's a good price. But it makes it so easy to just like buy so many because it's not like I'm sitting here spending $25 a pop like you do with some dolls. It's just like, oh, well, $7 here and there and then it adds up. But that's okay. I'm not complaining whatsoever. I appreciate the fact that they are a reasonable price point and I'm obviously super, super stoked to get into these with you. So you can like kind of see everything that like is in the boxes here on the back. It does show you all of the available pet pairs. And yeah, I bought um most of them actually, I think didn't buy that one and I don't, I think I bought all but two. <laughs> so maybe a little bit overboard, but we're gonna have a fun time with it today. I'm gonna go ahead and like unbox these off camera and I'll make sure that I keep them in each individual like section. So like, why did I say it like that? That was so unhelpful. I'll make sure I keep them separated so I can show you guys what comes in each box, but I do prefer to unbox off camera just cause I'm really, slow and awkward about it um but yeah that's what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at some more littlest pet shops if you guys find yourself enjoying if you could give the video a like that's super helpful to me if you're new here and you enjoy your time definitely subscribe so you can see more and if you want to go out of your way to support me i do have my po box and links and stuff in the description down below but without further ado i've actually been waiting for like a week and a half maybe two weeks I don't know, I got these like right after I made my last Littlest Pet Shop video and I was just like holding out because there were other videos that I wanted to get out first. So I've been very eagerly awaiting getting to unbox these. So I'm gonna go do that and then we'll come back together and hopefully have a lovely time talking about them. So I will see y'all in a second. Okay, so this is actually the second time I am trying to film this. The first time my microphone died midway through and I wasn't like far enough for me to be like, yeah, we just have to use it anyway. I really want to try to get the audio good. So we're just starting over a little bit. I'd only gone over a couple of pets. So you guys don't even know that. Obviously, you're not going to see that footage, but I know that. So if I'm kind of rushing through this first bit, I am sorry. It's because I'm technically repeating myself. Um, all of the pet pairs do have little like themes that they tell you on the box. So the first pet pair is hide and seek. And with that one, we got this little alpaca. I have put the visor and the binoculars on him because I thought I was talking into a working microphone. <laughs> and then the second pet, I was actually so confused by this. I bought this pet pair because I wanted the alpaca and like, I didn't mind this one, but I was just like, I have no idea what that is. I had to Google it. This is supposed to be a possum. I haven't really had an experience where I've seen a possum super up close, but this doesn't look like a possum <laughs> to me. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's fine. I'm not mad that it's like in my collection now. It's just funny because I never would have guessed possum and I literally had to look it up. Um, but the third accessory that this pet pair came with is this little flower. There's like a peg on it so you can stick the pet on there and they'll be nice and secure. So that's quite cute that they can have like a little flower to sit on. And then the second pet pair is the Artsy Pals. So the first pet we got is this little toucan. Quite cute. I'm not really a bird person, but I do think that this is pretty nice. It's interesting, though, because the other bird that I got had, like, clawed feet for some of the play sets have, like, bird perches. So I was expecting all, if not most, of the birds to have those, um, but not the toucan. He's got little flat feet and a little like holes so you can put them on stuff like the flower or you know other pieces of the play sets which like that's fine honestly realistically there's definitely more places and like more ways to use the peg than the perch but also I really want a different bird to put on the perch on the play set that I have so like 
I need that. Honestly, okay, I know exactly what I need, and I have to go on, like, a little personal tangent here, so y'all can just skip ahead a few seconds if you don't want to hear this, but me and my husband recently set up a bird feeder on our balcony, and there's birds that will come to the bird feeder, but also, like, they'll just knock out some seed, and so there's some seed just, like, scattered on the floor of our balcony, and there's cardinals that will come and, like, eat that seed because they're, like, I don't know, too big for the bird feeder. I'm not sure why they won't go for that. But there's one cardinal in particular that I recognize because he's bigger than all the rest. And also his like crest feathers, is that what you would call it? On his head sit kind of weird. And I named him Fatty and he's my best friend now. And I love looking out the window and seeing him like whenever he happens to be on the balcony. So what I really need is Little's Pet Shop to make a cardinal that I can put on my perch so I can have like a little toy version of Fatty. That doesn't matter to, like, anything. It's not relevant to this at all, but I just wanted an excuse to talk about him. Anyway, <laughs> the uh, second LPS here, sorry, I was trying to get the other one to balance off screen, that we got is this chameleon, and the chameleon is definitely the reason why I got this set. Just, like, look at this little guy. I love the colors, the stripes on the tail. I think the chameleon mold is so fun and cute. Like, that expression is just beyond precious i love him dearly and then the accessories that we got are this little carrot set and then we also got oh i dropped piece a brush and a paint palette so the brush can like go in the little thumb hole or you know it could be a thumb hole or like a toe hole i would say chameleons have toes rather than fingers anyway though yeah that's the second little accessory there and then the third pet pair that we got is the rockin sushi pair so first off we have this little fish who is my first fish and what a cute one to get for my first one i feel like again the colors are just so nice and like calming very ocean like i think this is really really cute i love how big the fin is like obviously it helps the balance but just so cute. Although the second one is something I like a little bit more. There's a little husky. Just such a cutie. I'm definitely more of a cat person than a dog person. But out of like dog breeds, I do think huskies are absolutely precious. So super excited to have one as a little pet shop. Probably don't have the uh, energy to have an actual husky ever because I know they're very like high energy, high maintenance dogs. So I'll be content with just this little guy. And then the accessories that we get, we have a little boom box here with the LPS logo on it. Then we have a little beverage. And the most notable one is this cute little sushi platter. I think it's really interesting to see which pieces they decide to give painted detail to. And like, obviously for this one, for the rock and sushi ones, it had to be the sushi. And it's just so cute. Like they can just hang out. Although that's... That's kind of messed up. Because I was like, oh yeah, they can just hang out. Like the dog can chill out here eating his sushi. How does the fish feel about this? <laughs> like that's his cousin. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking about it too much. Anyway, we can move on now. The next pet there is the Divin Divas. What a cute name. So the first one is this little axolotl. This is my second axolotl now because I did also get the one that came in the like tubular three packs. But this one's pink. Absolutely precious. I still think this mold is just so stinking cute. Like the little mouth. Just like a little goofy guy. And then we have what is probably my favorite from today's video. The wolf cat. And you can't see it. And I'm trying not to let it like leak out into an actual sound. But I'm screaming silently right now. What? Like, the colors are so fun. Such a cute mold. Such a cute little face. Obviously, I love the cats more than anything. Like, duh. But this one, this one in particular, I could die. So cute. We got some scuba goggles. Let's see if I can get them on the cat. Heck yeah. Most cats don't like to swim, but not this one. The wolf cat is ready to go. I don't know if they would fit on the axolotl. Yeah, no, there's not really, because, like, I don't know what these are called, so I'm so sorry. But those little things, are those his gills? I don't think so. 
I'm not even going to try to pretend that I know the name, but you definitely can't get the mask on. So like the accessory really only works for the wolf cat, or if you have others, you can put them on on others, but that's super precious. We've got a little bowl of lemonade, which for some reason is like one of my favorite accessories. I got one or two of these in the last video when I did like my first haul of health yes items focus thank you um i think this is so cute for absolutely no reason so obsessed that i got another one and then lastly we have this little clamshell with a silver pearl in the middle almost done here we've got two more pet pairs to get through the next one is the bark cuterie it's like supposed to be a play on shark <laughs> so first off we have this doggo here i am not well versed enough in dogs to know this particular breed like part of me wants to say German Shepherd, but then part of me feels like that's completely wrong. So if you know, because you're either a dog enthusiast or you just know a lot more about Littlest Pet Shop than I do, <laughs> let me know in the comments what type of dog this is. But we have our little doggo from the Bark Cuterie. And then we have another kitty cat. So cute. Like anytime I see a cat, I just have to buy it. It's it it's such an easy tactic to get me to buy something. It's just put a cat on it. This is so precious. I'm obsessed. And as someone who's had a few orange cats in my lifetime and loved them all dearly, great color scheme. And then with that, with the theming, we have a little piece of cheese with an apple on top as the first accessory. Ooh, I almost just dropped that. We have a little can of fish for the cat, of course. And then there is a little, I'm dropping everything today, like wooden board with a strawberry and some grapes on it. And you can also fit like the can on the side or you could probably yeah you can just barely fit the cheese on the side there to like make your own charcuterie board for the little pet shops and i think that is just so 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 cute last one the theme for this one is just yum yum <laughs> like i feel like some of the others are so on theme like dive in divas rock and sushi and then this is just yum yum okay first we have a kiwi bird who I'm going to keep it real. I'm not like the biggest fan of this one does make sense not having the clawed feet because I believe kiwis are flightless birds, if I'm remembering correctly. So like that makes sense. Whereas the toucan. Hello, he can fly anyway, though. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not like hating on the kiwi bird. Just not the biggest fan. I, I bought this pack because it had a tiger. <laughs> and I couldn't resist the tiger. I have this thing where whenever I go to the zoo, which is decently frequently, whenever I see the big cats, I end up sobbing. And each visit, it's like a different big cat that makes me sob, but it is most often the tigers. Like, cause I'm just, they're so beautiful. And like, I know they're endangered and everything. And like, it, it's, it's an emotional situation. Okay. But mostly I'm just crying because they're so beautiful and majestic and like it just baffles me that i'm like in the presence of them. <laughs> i'm getting emotional right now which is absolutely bonkers <laughs> but so i saw the tiger and it was like it doesn't matter if i like the other pet i have to get the tiger <laughs> and then the items that they come with are a little steak i think i honestly only am guessing that because the title of the pack is yum yum Otherwise, I don't know what I would think this was, but we have that. And then there's like a little plate of some greenery as well as a little like basket of peanuts. I don't think tigers can eat peanuts and I don't know about kiwi birds, but there you have it. We have that. I, it's not supposed to be realistic, obviously. I don't know why I'm getting hum hung up on that, but here we are. I'm just having a good time. I feel like when I make these little pet shop videos, I enter a different state because this is my second one where I was unboxing something and I feel like I am almost as unhinged as I was last time. Last time I blamed it on the fact that I was filming late in the day. Nope. It's like one o'clock. I don't know why I am like this with these, but they just really make me feel things. Um, I mean, obviously my three favorites are the cats these three but I feel like I should pick like a, a secondary favorite because it's always going to be the cats that are my favorite I think my secondary favorite is probably this little chameleon but like truthfully my favorite is the wolf cat as you can tell by the fact that I just knocked the chameleon down 
to get to this one. <laughs> Clearly, we know who is uh, in favor here. <laughs> but those are all of the littlest pet shops that I got today. Very, very excited about all of these. I can't wait to put them on my display and find little homes for them on my shelves. It's just so fun to like organize them and like show off where they belong. I, I love this so much. I'm so happy that Littlest Pet Shop is back around and that I can enjoy it as an adult with like adult fun money this time. <laughs> uh, I think this is probably all that I'm planning on getting from like the first rollout, like the initial rollout of LPS. So I'll finally be taking like a little step back. I won't be spending as much money on them for now until they come out with more. Very excited to see what happens next though. Cause like I've loved every single thing that I have opened. So super, super pumped for what comes next. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video today, guys. Let me know which is your favorite pet from today's video and which is your least favorite pet from today's video. There are no wrong answers, but like, there might be a wrong answer. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys were able to enjoy. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night or whatever it might be. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.